What's up, Internet? It is January 29th, 2019. We are here in the wonderful, fantabulous world of the town, once again, exploring my Animal Crossing life. So, uh, before we do anything, let's check ourselves some mail. Let's see, we got some stuff from the museum, something from Tom Nook. What do we got from Tom Nook? An amazing garden stone. I don't think it's that amazing, but uh, we'll be the judge of that when we see it ourselves. Uh, we have something from the snowman. I think we can get rid of that because we don't need that. Alright. Grab this. And I do believe our house has been expanded. So let's explore this. Now we have a nice little area to go downstairs. Take a look at our awesome new basement. It's basically as big as our upstairs. It's nice, it's spacious, and it's gonna let us store lots and lots of pointless crap down here. Which is awesome, because I think we've got a lot and are going to have more pointless crap in the near future, so we should probably do something about that. Okay, so, let's see. Doesn't look like we got a letter from the HRA today. That was a little peculiar. Uh, grab all these. Nope. Nope. Ah, that's what I was looking for. Yeah, so we didn't get a letter from the HRA. That's a little peculiar. But uh, we'll we'll deal with what we have here in a bit. First, let's uh, pop open these presents, see what we got. A Stego Skull, I do believe we need that for the museum, so that's exciting. A Terra Right Wing, we do have all the Pterodon. And a Stego Skull. Well, when it rains, it pours Stego Skulls, apparently. Let's, uh, let's go run these down to Blithers. Keep ourselves an eye out on uh, Snowballs, because we're gonna need them at some point. Because we are still lacking in two pieces of snowman furniture. And, uh, you know, it, it's important to finish your sets if you want the big HRA points. <laughs> well, you know, Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming out, so I'm not surprised there's commercials for it. Actually, I'm kind of surprised there are commercials on this stream at all. Seeing as I, I'm not getting any sort of cut of it. I thought that only happened when you became a big, important streamer. Oh well. Alright, so next we have a Stego Skull. Let's give this to Blithers. Huh? I guess we already donated a Stego Skull. I'm sorry, Blithers. You know, unlike you, I'm not picky. I'll accept any and all donations to help keeping the channel running. Through my PayPal, through my Patreon. It's all good. Helps make my life a little easier too, it's all appreciated. Not like Mr. Picky Pants over here, who can't have two of the same fossils ever. Seriously, Blithers, you are just kind of ungrateful at raw generosity. Alright, so what are we missing then? Uh, we're missing the head of whatever the hell this is. And the tail of the Stegosaurus, okay. And of course, we don't have either of those. We've got a skull, a wing, and another skull. Okay. Well, I'll be back later, Blithers, maybe, if I can be asked. Now to Nooks, where we're going to get berated on having to pay off another big debt that I don't want to deal with. Ah. Uh, out of the way, Pippi. Uh, all but two. So I, I think that's like five plus like ten standalone fossils. I think it's a basement. Yes, so just throw all your crap that you don't want in your inventory in your basement. Jacking up the house. I don't think you jacked up anything. I don't think you dug a new basement. I think you magically made a staircase appear. Just say 49,000? That's actually quite doable. 
Okay, well, I mean, if it's 49,000, yeah, I can pay that eventually. Hell, I'm almost there. We might have to do that before it's an... Unless I misread that, in which case I look like a complete idiot, but... I do need that for blithers, actually, so we will take that perfect painting. And I do think we need this stone, because it's one of the few stones we don't have yet. Oh crap, we, we really need to motor on these raffle tickets too. How many do we have? Because the, the raffle is on the 31st. So we got one entry. Nope. Two entries. Okay, we got three entries into the raffle, so we really should motor on this. Uh, so tomorrow, I guess, seeing as there is a big carpet sale and stuff, we're, we're gonna have to just buy all the carpets ever. <laughs> just cause we need the raffle tickets. We might actually end up having a raffle for a uh, balloon fight, and it would be sad for me not to win because it's the best NES game in this game that I don't have to do a bunch of nonsense to unlock or somehow acquire an action replay to get. Seriously, anyone out there got a GameCube action replay just kicking around, feel free to send it my way. I want to play Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Alright, we got a white cosmos bag. Oh hey, he also has two of our favorite shirts in stock today, that's kind of cool. And we got this we can dig up. And I will. We're gonna have to buy some paper, I think, just to uh, send more fossils his way. Plant that. Plant that. We're making this place more beautiful one day at a time. Plant that. And plant that. Okay, so that's done. Ooh, what do we have here? Next to those garbages I left there, we have a circus shirt. That doesn't look very circusy. Although I know my favorite uh, animal, Pierce, wears that shirt. Let's see what else we got. We have a lacy parasol. Extremely lacy. We can sell that later. Uh, okay, I don't want to really work on my house yet, so I guess we'll just look for the money rock first and foremost. Tortimer, here is not where I need you to be, buddy. You gotta go to the center of the place. Here is absolutely not good. The center of town, slightly below the uh, waterfall, would be best. Go hang out there so we can do that. Not the money rock. It's a sadness rock is what it is. Hey, it's the money rock, all right. We're making money. And since we're right near the post office, I want to make sure I, I didn't misread that and, and make myself look like a giant jackass. I want to make sure it in fact said 49,000. Because if that's the case, I can pay that off pretty easily. I mean, with or without bees just catching fish, it wouldn't be impossible. Still gotta find the snowman and figure out who's running the uh, igloo games today, too. And I'd like to clean up our house a little. I'm a little annoyed we didn't get an HRA letter, though, because that would at least give us a baseline to see what we're doing right and wrong. But, uh, alas, 
Hey, Phyllis. Here to bug you. Just making sure I'm not crazy. Nope. 49,000 bells. Guess we're doing that tonight. <laughs> Well, we already found uh, the money rock, so I guess we'll start shaking trees. And we'll read this, and we'll throw that away. And we'll write a letter to Mr. Museum. We'll send this along its merry little way. Read this, throw this away, and prep a letter for Mr. Museum. Just because we know we're going to need it. I like Phyllis myself. I, I like her more than Pelly because you at least know where she stands. She she doesn't hide the fact you're annoying to her. Whereas Pelly, she just smiles and nods at everything. I, I think she's probably secretly very, very angry and vindictive about you bugging her every day. She's the reason why we send out four fossils and we only get three back. She's messing with us. Whereas, whereas Phyllis, she's just right off the bat, just make sure you know she doesn't like you. Alright, uh, we gotta find ourselves some bees, and this would be the perfect place to find them. Because we got lots of room to run. Come on, bees. I don't want to be afraid. But I want bees. And also, this is 1,500 bells right here. Thank you, non-native fruits. Anti-shadows to our native fruits, pears, which are dumb. Because they're only worth a fifth of any other fruit I can sell, except for coconuts, which I think are like 200 bells. But I gotta connect my Game Boy to the thing, and I don't want to do any of that. Screw that noise. Now this would be a terrible place to get bees, just because there's no place to run. Uh, there is a cure for bee stings in every Animal Crossing game after this. You can go buy medicine every day at Tom Nook's shop once. And occasionally some villagers will actually uh, just give you medicine to heal yourself. In this game, the only way to uh, get rid of your bee sting is to wait t like I think it's past 6 a.m. but basically you just have to wait the end of the day <sighs> it's our old pal beef chowder the serial killer I don't want to become human chowder so I'm gonna leave her alone Pears are actually quite nice. I don't have them very often, though. But, um... They suck in this game because they're our native fruit. Because of a random dice roll at the beginning of the game that said, Oh, the f one of the five things you can have is pears. And that means they're worth nothing to you compared to everything else. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. She serves it grandma special style. That's, oh, that's creepy <laughs> and morbid, but also probably very true. We are gonna pay off this house extension tonight, I think. Cause we only have like 10,000 more bells to go. We should be getting gyroids today too. It snowed yesterday. We should be getting gyroids, but I'm not seeing any. Oh, we got some bells. Shake, 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 shake. And now I've got hiccups. Awesome. And I don't have any vinegar on me. Seriously, quick, uh... So 
solution for hiccups. Take a uh, cap full of like white vinegar and just slam it. It will burn the ever living crap out of your throat, but it shocks your system out of having hiccups. It's awesome. Yep. Vinegar 100% cures hiccups. You don't need much, you just need like one cap full, but it shocks your system. And then you don't have hiccups anymore and it's awesome. Oh look, it's our old pal Stationary. Uh, hate you Stationary, you're the worst. You ruin everything. Hey coppers, anything going on nearby that I should know about? That's not what I meant to click. Yes, I've received lots of music from KK Slider. It's awesome. I think he's secretly a metalhead, but uh, is afraid it will mess with his image. You just gotta be you, copper. Just gotta be you. One of these is a painting, right? Yeah, that's right. I forgot I even had that. Short-term memory! It's a thing I sometimes don't have, possibly. I don't know. Okay, well, I guess we'll run this up to... Lithers. Hey, Cody brain fart. Okay, now let's play, is it going in the river or not? Not. Terrific. Okay, we found one of the snowballs then. Now we just gotta find the other one. It's not a snowman yet, but it's working its way up there. Hey, Blithers. I got something you won't be picky about this time. Seriously, I've never heard someone so ungrateful for donations. As someone who accepts them myself, you know, you gotta be... Happy people are actually willing to help make sure stuff happens for you. Whereas this guy over here, he's Mr. Picky Pants. That's not cool. Gotta be respectful and very humble about it, because it is a very humbling thing. Alright, throw that away. Right. On the, uh, game and watch paper. This reminds me of Nintendo Land with that weird, like, Mimic the Octopus mode. That was, like, the worst minigame on that compilation. That wasn't even a very good compilation, but, man, that was a bad game. Oh, there's some more apples we can sell. Sell the bagworm. I want to keep that. Uh, I need that ticket, of course. Alright. We're almost there. We can almost pay off our house again. Yeah, you know, this, this next uh, upgrade, it's about as costly as the original house, except it's significantly bigger. Also, it's our old friend, Ball with Fizz X, because Fizz X is fun, I guess, except not. It's the worst thing in this game, stupid ball. Actually, I know we're on a bit of a time limit, but... I heard you could do this. Let's find out if it's true. Hole in one! Yeah, and now you can't go anywhere, you stupid ball, with your Fizz X. 
<sighs> I feel better. Oop, we got a digging spot. Hey, Joyride. A mini dinkoid. Hey, Olivia. Ah, now see, I want more fruit, but I also want to pay off my house. <sighs> All right, I'll buy it. Oh, it's a cherry, okay. We don't have cherries yet. In fact, we only have apples, so pretty much anything else other than apples would be awesome. Well, clearly I can get them. Yep, I might be able to pay off my house today, because apparently a basement is only like 49,000 bells, and we're already like 90% of the way there. So if we can get that done tonight, that'd be pretty cool. Hey, there's a snowball! I'll try planting the cherry here. And I guess we will try and get this snowball to build a snowman. Honestly, I thought the next upgrade was like 400 some odd thousand bells, not uh, 49,000. That's a ridiculously low price to pay. I mean, that's basically the price of the base house right there. Okay, so you'd think at some point I actually would learn the layout of my town, but no. I still have to figure out where I need to go in order to not completely destroy this snowball. Okay. Okay, Mr. Snowball, let's go this way. Why do you just not want to be pushed? Okay, easy. Easy. Now the river's on the... Okay. Yeah, for some reason, once you get to, like, the sides, it just decides not to want to be pushed and just sort of starts rolling without push behind it, and it's kind of awkward. But we're making this work somehow. Pushing, 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 pushing. Oh, okay. So now, we just gotta wear this thing down and get it somewhere relatively safe next to the nether one. Actually, here is probably really good, so we'll just leave it here, but we gotta wear it down a little. So, let's wear it down on the dirt. Really hoping those cherries will grow. Like, seriously, we have had a complete pain trying to grow non native fruit in this town. I mean, I've gone through like four peaches and still don't have a peach tree. Fortunately, we at least have apples, but still. And hopefully this time we'll finally get that last, uh, or one of the two last pieces of the snowman set that we need. Because I finally have a, you know, carpet. I don't need another one like yesterday. So, I've got a about this it's gonna lose its push ability any second there it is okay now we just gotta carefully size it up to more or less the right size nope you can plant fruit wherever you want whenever you want it's just a matter of kind of luck and the specific rules of uh, where you do it for example if I were to plant a tree right here, it wouldn't grow because this is a spot that's reserved for houses. In fact, I think there's a bit of an extended area around them where you can't plant trees. So you gotta be careful about that. Okay there, Snowball, that's a bit close. 
How big are we talking right now? Okay, I think that should be about right. Now we just gotta get the other snowball and hopefully not completely cock up its sizing. But knowing that it's me, we probably will. And hopefully not get it into the drink because ocean, it's a thing. Nothing I normally deal with, but a thing nonetheless. Trees, you're not helping. Come on, trees, let's go. Uh, well, actually, we're getting close enough to the point where I can roll it by hand. That's nice. It's our old pal Cody Brain Fart. Brain farting it up. Okay, that's too small, I think. Gotta be a little bigger. Okay, I think that's about right. Go! It's average! But that still means we get some furniture, and that's what's important. Okay. So now that's done. All oh, right, we were shaking trees for nonsense because I want to pay off my house. Well, Cody is something of a brain fart in general, so I'm not opposed to punching him. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Come on, bees. We've almost explored half this town and we still haven't run into any. And we're in some territory that I'd rather not. There's some bees, okay. Whoa! Okay. Now I just gotta time this right. There we go. Alright. So those bees are 4,500. Combined with that fruit, that is 6,000 bells. Which basically means we need like 4,000 more bells. So if we got another bee, we'd be able to pay off our house again. Not bad, considering we just paid it off yesterday. Okay, so I don't think we've shaken the trees in this sector, so let's do that. And since we're here, just to appease some people and also myself because Cody brain farts annoying. Yes. Bonk. <laughs> ah, take that, Cody brain fart. Alright. That was fun. That was actually really cathartic. Okay, so we need some more bees. Or at least, you know, like 4,000 more bells so we can pay off our house. Again. But we're getting close, and that's the important thing. And we have an hour till Nooks closes, which is a problem, because even if you pay off your house, if you don't talk to Nook beforehand, he won't uh, go on with the renovation, so... We're on a time limit here, but we also only need like 4,000 bells, and even if I screwed up all the bees, 4,000 bells is nothing. Some more bells. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Okay, I think that's all of those. Let's go in here. Shake, 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 shake. Got some bells. Oh, that's my wallet right there. Let's slam it all in there. I just gotta say, I, I like this little pond with its like lily pads and its giant flower when it's the right time of year. It's a nice uh, little pond. But I really hope I can get a uh, bridge just above this because seriously, I either have to go all the way up there or all the way down there to get across. One right here would be perfect. I'm not sure if one can even spawn on the waterfall tile, but I know one can't spawn on the tile with the actual pond itself, but I think the waterfall tile things can spawn, so I'm hoping 
because I really want that shortcut. That would make things so much nicer. Oh, we got a digging spot over here. Maybe it's another joyride. Yep. Please be something cool. Please be something cool. A mega echoid. I don't think that's one I want. I think these things sell for like um, a thousand bells each too. So, you know, I think we probably already paid off our house at this point with just our inventory. But we still have time to look for bees. And bees are worth a lot of money. So, we're going to do that. Oop, we got a bag worm. Another one. Two in one day, that's pretty rare. Alright, got ourselves another bag worm. Shaking the trees, looking for bees, not finding them, but needing the bells. Shake, 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 shake. Oh, there were some bells up here. What do we got over here? Okay, this is a terrible place for bees because we have no maneuvering room. But we still gotta try and get them if they are here. Come on, bees, where are you? Not here. Should be two more bees somewhere. I'm just not finding them. Oh, but we got a diggy spot, so let's dig up some digging things. Maybe we'll finally get one of my favorite gyroids. We can hope. As my favorite joy rides have still yet to make an appearance. Hey, a lullaboid. I actually do like the lullaboids. That guy I'm keeping. Especially for my other idea for a room I want to do. So, that guy's kind of important. Oh, pears. No one likes you, pears. <sighs> oh, well, we'll eat some vitamin C or whatever. Delicious vitamin C. Or whatever pears give you. Let's go take a look at our gyroids before we try and sell them. Because we're going to have to at some point... Wait, hold on. Are they going to make each other angry? Aw. She got some sad fashion advice. Her... Outfit just wasn't stylish enough. She needed horizontal stripes. Actually, I've heard you normally want vertical stripes because they lead your eye down and give the illusion of um, thinnerness, I, I think is what I heard. Or something. I don't know. I don't know fashion. I'm wearing a future shirt. Alright, so a mini dinkoid. It's a space one! What about this one? Boop, 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 boop. And then this guy. Hmm. I might keep this one too. Eh, screw it, I'll keep all three. I can certainly spare it, I think. Okay, so let's go sell some stuff to Mr. Nook. Because we've got limited time before he closes. Because he has to get prepared for his big carpet sale tomorrow. So excited for it. Okay. I have some of this, and this, and this. And I should probably keep that garden stone actually. But we're close. That said, if we're going to buy some carpets at his big carpet sale, we also need to, um, you know, save up for that. So we're getting close to being able to pay off our house anyway. And we're definitely going to do that before the night's over, I feel, but. Be nice to have a little bit extra just in case. Because big carpet sales. 
Need more carpets for me, and also, um, more tickets so that I can buy things from his raffle, possibly. Preferably an NES game. Preferably, preferably, Balloon Fight. Shake, 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 shake. Man, Balloon Fight's good. It's like Joust, but better. And programmed by Satoru Iwata. Oh, how he's missed. Actually, I, I just watched an interesting um, video with him in it today. It was an interview from Game Center CX. And uh, they challenged him to try and do like this super hard challenge in Balloon Fight. It was actually very fascinating to watch. Also, Game Center CX is just entertaining to begin with. Hey, we got ourselves something. A merge sign. Like our house is some kind of freeway. Says the guy who's probably never seen a freeway in his life. Shake, 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 shake. Oh, we got some more bells. Slowly building up our wealth so we can pay off our house. We're almost there. Just a little more. Alright. Bees. Come on, bees. Okay, we've actually managed to cover about three quarters of the town at this point. We still haven't seen our second set of bees. This is peculiar and also concerning. Maybe it's like they say the bees are going extinct. What they don't tell you is it's also a contributing factor is killer bees. But I've already ranted about that. There's some more bells. Shake this tree for good measure. Come on, bees. Really? Not running into any bees today. Let's talk to Kitty. Or she goes into her house. Let's go talk to Kitty in her house. Very fancy with her rose shirt and rose outfit and her rose backgrounds and floor. So what are you up to? Okay, the soundtrack for whatever reason to this song sounds like it makes like a weird warble effect like it's glitched or something. I know that's just this one song, too. Ouch. I like you too, kitty, but that was uncalled for. And after I barged into your house with my dirty boots, tracking mud and snow all over your floor, just to say hi to you, you go and say something mean like that. Oh, that's way too much. I'm not spending that much on a cherry, I'm sorry. I don't care if you were willing to give me every fruit I don't have for this town at once for that price, that's too much. Shake, shake, shake. Shaking trees to make our house payments. Looking for bees. Not finding any. Oh. So after this, the only places to look are directly north of us, up the hill really.
Well, there are money trees, too. Shake, 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 shake. I like this track, it's very calming. Really, all the background music to Animal Crossing is just delightful. I like the rain music too, it's just super, super chill. Uh, they grew, they just didn't sprout anything. Because money trees are like that sometimes in game. You can plant them, they'll sometimes grow, they sometimes won't, but even if they do, there's no guarantee they'll actually sprout money. The odds of it actually growing money are dependent on how much you plant. It also affects your return, but again, there's... The only way to get like a 100% chance of a return is to basically lose money at that point. But we got trees in the town, so at least the wishing well can tell us that there's too many trees because of it, so, you know. Giving ourselves more problems when we try and go for the perfect town. Whenever I can be asked to actually do that. Probably once I'm done, you know, paying off my house, but I just... Oh man, I really don't want to go for the perfect town ever. I did that once, it was... abysmal. Oh, they had a nice little conversation. Nice. Uh oh. Okay, so this is a terrible place to run to bees! Because of that. Okay. I think they're coming kinda from the right. There we go. From what I noticed, they don't tend to come at you from angles. They tend to come from uh, one of the four base cardinal directions. Which is good to know going into it. That'll be our house payment right there. Those are for pears. In fact, bees are really only good for uh, selling in this game, because I, I looked it up and all the bugs and apparently all the fish give you the same HRA points, which is basically nothing. So I may as well just sell them. Which is fine, I mean, they're worth a lot, so I'm happy to sell them, but I'm not going to bother with the trees in this sector because my flowers, my precious, precious flowers. Choo choo. It's the hype train coming all the way from Animal Crossing Junction. Hey, a digging spot. Is it another joyride? I want more joyrides. They make my life happy. Oh, it's just a fossil. That's lame. Who wants fossils? Guess I'll throw that away. And I will produce ourselves a letter. That was the letter that told us when his uh, big thing was happening, too. Crap. Oh, well, I, I know it's uh, tomorrow at 6, so... Yeah, tomorrow we're going to be doing this two hours early, I guess, for Nook's big carpet sale. Of doom. Well, that's it. I'm pretty sure all he does is tell you still the standard carpets. It's not like they're rare or like uh, the Sahara ones or anything. Nope. Oh, I didn't get that one. Oh, well, we got two of them. Uh, still looks so sad. Okay, well, that's also all the... All the uh, bees in town today. Hey, Mr. Nook. Also, I appreciate that he's selling two of my, uh, my shirts. He's got very stylish plans for his, uh, inventory, it seems. I appreciate that. Alright, making some bells. 
I'm gonna go pay off my house. Again. Oh hey, it's a sport ball stuck in the stupid dump where it belongs with its fizz axe. Stupid sport ball. Hi. Alright, so let's deposit some stuff. Oh no, wait, we want to put our uh, letters in first. Mail! Just paying off a house. That's all that's really going on. Settled at Animal Crossing Fair, really. Alright, so let's mail some more stuff to Mr. Museum. More for museum! They love it when I send them stuff. They should really just train brothers to actually, you know, just appraise fossils like he says he can already do. That'd be nice. I'm paying off my debt. Because I need to do that. Uh, depends on your definition of new. I started like six months ago or so. But I'm really just doing it because I feel like it. Gives me more stuff for my YouTube channel anyway. And there is a house payment. Hooray. We just paid ourselves off a basement. Hooray. Oh, and while we're here... Let's get some fish so we can pay for some carpets tomorrow. Because apparently there's a big carpet thing. And that means tickets for raffles that may lead to NES games. And other things I don't care about. I just want the NES games. Mostly just balloon fights. Well, and the few that I can't get in-game. Alright, we got a Biddling. Crucian Carp. Damn it, they look the same too. I can normally guess what they are based on their size, but that one... It looks so similar. Oh no, I scared the fish and I think it died. Yeah, the fish died. Sorry, Mr. Fish. Oh, and I scared that fish. I'm bad at just fishing in Animal Crossing. Still, you should see me in uh, Stardew Valley. That's just a train wreck. This is at least kind of competent because it's just a matter of timing. That's a goby. Seriously, Tortimer, it's not complicated. I want a bridge directly below the waterfall. It's the only place where it makes sense to put a bridge in this town. Just go there, and then we'll have a bridge and it'll be awesome. And then you can stay in your little hovel wherever you live and be happy and warm and not have to wander around the freezing town all day. It's, it's not complicated, Tortimer. A general glance at the town map would tell you where it's ideal to build a, a bridge because every other acre has one other than there. There should be a barbell steed. And it is. You know, eventually he just goes and retires to an island and leaves everything to you. At least then I could say, you know, here's where I want a bridge, damn it. Instead of waiting on him and hoping he goes to the right acre. Uh, I will say I like this Animal Crossing the best, but they've made improvements. That's a big carp. I think the carp's worth a lot. Comparatively, anyway. Nothing down there. Too many fish falling off of uh, waterfalls, it seems. And there's another smelt. How many spots do I have left? Four. That should be enough to buy a couple of carpets, I would think. 
Come on, Mr. Fishy Fish. There's a barbell steed. What do we got here? Probably a pond smell, judging by its size. If it's a fish at all, it's probably garbage or something dumb. Oh, there's a pond smell. We got two more spaces. We have to save this fish. Don't go off the waterfall, fish. Come on, Mr. Fish. We gotta save you. And then promptly turn you into a fish stick. But still, you won't fall off a waterfall on my watch. Hooray! We saved him. To sell him so he'll be eaten in the future. But still, we saved him, and that's the important thing. Could be a Miss Fishy. And we got ourselves a mini bass guitar. Awesome. Alright, let's go sell these to Mr. Nook. Also, I've really got to remember at some point to get another character to buy something from him so we can upgrade his place again. But I think that'll be in February just because I want to uh, not have him close down when he's giving his lottery raffle thing. I don't want a bigger house, I'm happy with it. Yes, there's something blue there. It's a sport ball. Okay, so I said no, but we're going to the Nook Mobile anyway. Okay, fine. <sighs> you never listen to me, Mr. Nook. And then you sick the Raccoon Mafia on me for not paying my house bills on time. Alright, well, let's sell some stuff. Yeah, or at least I was before I went to YouTube. Now it's mostly just a thing I do for a hobby. I lost all my game design work to a flood, which basically left me to YouTube because it was all I had left. Although that's not exactly going great either because, you know, YouTube took away monetization last year. Now I'm living off of uh, Patreon donations from fans, which is going about as well as that sounds. It's not ideal, no. But I'm doing the best I can with what I have, and I'm really hoping something works out, because I really could use something to work out. What did we get from our friend, the snowman? Please be one of the two things we still need. Please. I, I need it to be one of the two things to finish the set. Dresser! Hooray! We're missing one thing left. Now we gotta clean this place up a little. <laughs> Uh, yeah, programming is probably like the worst part in my experience. I'm just like probably programming is my weakest uh, chunk of that little bit of uh, stuff to do. Wait, that's the dresser, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm missing something. Oh well. Uh, well, I started out studying game design, honestly, before I could walk. Like, before I was really capable of talking. I, I just played games and I replayed bits just to see how it worked. Uh, when I was in elementary school or uh, er early, early junior high, I started uh, making games with, like, really early, um, what is it, RPG Maker. And, like, uh, Game Maker and stuff like that, and then... Uh, my longest running project went for about 15 years, which is 
honestly, from a game design perspective, a bad thing to do. You typically don't want your things to last that long, but uh, it, it went for about 15 years, and then a flood hit and destroyed everything. And uh, that left me with literally just my passion for games, so I started analyzing them for YouTube, really. But it's hard to get noticed. Um, maybe. I, I don't right off have the ability to record PC stuff as far as I'm aware. That, that's something I still haven't figured out yet, but uh, uh, certainly I'd be willing to give it a shot. Try your game out. I mean, I've already uh, reviewed a game that someone had made at one point, but uh, couldn't make a video for it because I didn't have a way to record it, so that's uh, left as a written thing up on my website, but... Hmm. Okay, we really have got to clean this up. Clean your room, young man. Oh, mom, I don't wanna. My room sucks. Hate it. Uh, I guess the best thing we can do for this stuff right now is just bring it all downstairs and try and maneuver it around a little. Figure out what we can use for the snowman set and what we can't. But... There should be ten parts of this set. One, two, three, four, five. Then we've got six, seven, eight, so we're still missing two. That's the dresser. Okay, I'm gonna make some noise just real quick, because I'm I'm genuinely curious what we're missing, so I'm gonna go to the wiki. Because professionalism. Snowman series. Okay, so what do we need? Bed we've got, chair we've got, clock we have, dresser we have. We need the fridge, we have the lamp. We have the sofa, we have the table, we have the TV. We need the wardrobe. Okay, so we need the wardrobe in the fridge, not the dresser in the fridge. Okay. Although, really... There's, like, no difference between a wardrobe and a dresser. Let's just be honest, they're both places you store your pants when you're not wearing them. Okay, put that dresser down. Snowman lamp. I quite like this set, it's so cute. Alright. Put down the bed. And get trapped immediately because I understand how beds work. Alright, uh, snowman chair can go there. What else do we got? We got our work uniform. We can leave that in the corner over here. Actually, this is one of the reasons why I like the basement. You can just store all your crap. Yeah, I hate snow. I like the snowman set, it's cute, it's not freezing cold and doesn't make me sad on a daily basis. Okay. So, just gonna... Also notice how when I took away the sound, they actually stopped being in sync and actually started acting a little faster. It's because they actively react to the music. Jury rods are awesome. Okay, I can't push that any further. Oh. Right, because I have an NES game there. That's right. Okay, so next we have a snowman clock. Snowman TV. A glass top table, which I think will probably remain down here for the time being. We are running out of room for stuff. White boombox. box. 
Okay, well, we, we've kind of got at least a little bit of room to work with now, so what we'll do is we'll remove that, and we'll remove this, and then I think we'll keep the rest up here and start working the snowman set back in. So we'll take that, and that, and that, and that. Okay, put the master sword down here for the time being. Drop our cream sofa over here. Uh, drop the desert because we don't need it. Probably just sell that. Take these. We'll use this as a starting point to reset up our house. And I would think we'd want to put our table in the center. Because that's just proper decor. Sorry, dummy. I don't want to move you, given that you're the... I wonder if I can actually put that up on a table. Let's find out. Where are you? There it is. That does not sit on top of a table. That's unfortunate. Missed opportunity. I could have put that up on the table. It would have been awesome. But alas, it was not to be. Alright, that looks vaguely red, so I'm going to put that in that corner. Uh, we can put the white boombox on our table, I think. Take that. the white boom box on our table. Let's turn on some jams. Uh, view my library of tunage. Still got a long way to go before we get the full set. I think we're listening to KK Condor. Okay, now the bed I would think would need a corner just because it's such a big piece of uh, furniture. Uh, chair, dresser, Lamp, clock, dummy, bed. Okay. I think we should put the lamp next to the to the uh, bed because that's where you put lamps normally. I think we can put a chair right here. Uh, yeah, I guess that'll have to go there. Fair enough. Do we have the sofa? I think that's downstairs still. Let's go get that. Snowman sofa! Alright, we need the TV as well. I'd like to get the other special bits like the models in as well, but I'm not sure we'll be able to. Sofa. That goes there. I do like the Metatoids, they sound like uh, ice being shaken in a glass or something. Sorry, Mr. Warbloid, but you... Ah, oh, you're a Gargaloid, not a Warbloid. My apologies. Gyroids hate when you, uh, misappropriate them. And I turned him off accidentally. Alright, uh, I guess we will put the dummy right around here. Unless that blocks a thing that's... Well, I'm not sure that actually affects anything. Guess we'll find out. Uh, snowman clock. And we have... Snowman dresser. A blue model. Let's get the snowman stuff out first. Snowman TV. Hmm. 
I don't want to block that gyroid off, so... Okay, well, I guess we'll put the TV here. Or, what we could do, actually, comes a metatoid. And, where's the TV? Drop the TV there. Turn it on. Because it's just cute. Also, while we're here... Listen to the TV a little bit. And the crackling fireplace. Totally worth all the time I spent to get those. Okay. Metatoid can go there. Alright, we are making this place look like a proper house now. Uh, snowman bed. Well, we already have one. We don't have a place for four pieces of furniture, do we? Mm -hmm. Unless... Maybe we move this up. And this moves up. I really have to look up, like, HRA prizes and stuff at some point. But, uh, let's see, we want the... Snowman house... house bed. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's put the Tokyo Tower right there. And put the pagoda here. Plus we got an extra bed in case someone wants to come over for a sleepover. Awesome! Uh, put the igloo model here. Turn the lights for that. Okay, we've got a snowy tree model we should drop there. We've almost got this, I think. Okay, so we still have another bed <laughs> and another table. Those are too big, so I think what we're going to do is we're just going to take these. And uh, what the hell, we'll replace that carpet upstairs with, with our NES, because I know NESs are actually worth some points. I'm not sure if a uh, random carpet sitting on a table counts as mess or not, so we're gonna get rid of this, I think. Uh, where is it? Dresser, snowman clock, tennis. Alright. I'll turn on KK Condor. Um, the lighthouse model there, I think. The snowy tree model there, I think. I mean, it's still kind of a mess, but... Maybe we'll get more points if we set it up like this. Possibly. I don't know. It's less of a mess and you can at least walk around the hill. So, you know, small victories. Plus we got a lullaboyd. That's kind of nice. And that is our house, I think, for now. I might have to uh, change things as required in the future. Uh, anyway, that has been over an hour of My Animal Crossing Life for January 29th, 2019. And I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, follow the stream to know when we go live, which will be tomorrow and every other day for this. And we'll actually be going, I believe, two hours early at 6 o'clock to catch that special uh, carpet sale by Nook, so that's exciting. Uh, also, subscribe to my YouTube channel to see everything else I do, which is a crap ton of stuff. I cannot stress that enough, I work a lot on my channel. And if you really want to make my day, check out my Patreon, support me there, and we can end up getting you on the Patreon Supporters Discord, where we can talk about how awesome the snowman set is when you actually complete it. Here's hoping I actually get to, but we paid off the house because that basement is ridiculously small. We can talk about how ridiculously cheap basements evidently are. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Peace out, Internet.